Hey everyone, this is Dr. Mungli. Today's question for you is on a disease called Creutzfeldt Jakob disease, which is also called as transmissible spongiform encephalopathy. Let me explain a little bit about uh, Creutzfeldt Jakob disease or uh, transmissible spongiform encephalopathy. So, transmissible spongiform encephalopathy, which is in cows or in animals, it is referred as bovine spongiform encephalopathy, which is also called as mad cow disease. In sheep, this disease is referred as crepey, and in humans, the disease is referred as Crutchfeld Jacob disease. So, whether it is Crutchfeld Jacob disease or bovine spongiform encephalopathy or crepey, the all the three of them basically they are refer commonly known as prion disease. So this prion disease is a common disease which is manifested in different species. It is all it is seen in humans, seen in cows and all seen in uh, sheep. So in human this is called as Crutchfeld Jacob disease. Now what is the pathophysiology of prion disease? So in prion disease Initially, the scientists were confused which is that infectious agent. Basically, the prion disease is caused by an infectious agent. If it gets into our body or if it is there in our body, it is going to induce a change in the, uh, the structure of a molecule. So, there is a protein in a neurological system which is called as prion protein prion protein and role of this prion protein in the neurological system is not at identified it is a debatable still we don't know what is the function of the prion protein in our nervous system but it is existing in our nervous system and this normal prion protein which is referred as PRPC C for cellular PRPC this is a normal cellular prion protein and this normal cellular prion protein it is rich in alpha helix if you look at the structure of prpc prpc is rich in alpha helix now because of a mutation which can be because of sporadic mutation so prpc can be converted into what is called as prpsc so the PRPC here will be converted into PRPSC, PRPSC, SC for scrapey disease, PRPSC and this PRPSC is a disease causing prion protein and this disease causing prion protein it is rich in beta sheet. So PRPC which is a normal cellular prion protein which is rich in alpha helix is now it is converted to PRPSC which is rich in beta sheet. Now this PRPSC is an infectious agent and this is nothing but PRPSC or PRPC is basically it's a protein molecule. So this PRPSC because of the beta sheet it tends to aggregate and it becomes like a beta sheet and also like an amyloid uh, fiber so there will be accumulation of amyloid fibril here in prion disease and that is rich in beta sheet so once the prpc is converted to prpsc and that prpsc it will go it will act as a template and it will go on converting prpc into prpsc so there will be huge amount of prpcs which will be converted into prpsc and this prpsc will tend to aggregate and that will lead to neurological damage. It's going to damage the nervous system and thereby the person will manifest with the neuro de neurodegenerative condition. So, and also there will be changes in the brain where there will be spongiform change in the brain and that is why these patients are, the, the name of the disease is transmissible spongiform encephalopathy. So it means this disease can be transmitted from one person to another person because a PRPSC, if it is transmitted to other person, so it can act as a template and it's going to convert PRP, normal PRPC into PRPSC. So 
this kind of disease mechanism will be going on. Initially, this infectious agent was thought as virus, bacteria or a nucleic acid, but later it has been determined that the infectious agent is nothing but it is our own cellular protein which is found in the neurons which is referred as PRPC. So because of the sporadic mutation or because of the, the entry of PRPSC by eating mad cow meat which is suffering from transmissible sorry bovine spongiform encephalopathy or the sporadic mutation where there is a change in the gene sequence where because of this there will be change in the amino acid sequence and that has changed PRPC into PRPSC where it has got beta sheet instead of alpha helix okay and once you get PRPSC so it acts as a template and go on converting PRPC into PRPSC and that leads to accumulation of beta sheets as amyloid fibers and that will lead to neurodegeneration so once again in the Crutchfeld Jacob disease or bovine spongiform encephalopathy or scrapy all these three disorders are referred as prion disease so in prion disease the disease causing agent is PRPSC this is causing prion protein and this is rich in beta sheet okay and that is a protein infectious protein molecule thanks for watching and I'll come with another question sometimes Maybe tomorrow. Thank you.